So the, the concept of the nature is dynamic. Now, dynamic, see, what does that mean? Nature is not static. Then that'll be a direct attack on the so-called laws of physics. There's no structure to it. Everything doesn't change. The law of gravity, freely falling body, that law obtains. Uh, ballistic missiles can exit the world's you, uh, Earth's atmosphere and re-enter. If it's off uh, 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 one, one part of a second, it just goes out into space. Well, that seems like rather precise to me. I don't know to whom it might not seem precise, but that's science. Now, nobody would go into outer space and say, now there's, once we're out, we can't get back in. Praise God for that. They think they could re-enter, but there are conditions of re-entering. You miss it, you can't, and there's not another chance. That's science. I, I don't make up uh, science fiction about that, see. Science fiction is once more a preoccupation of our culture because they can't turn to reality. Science fiction is uh, figments of your imagination, so people can't manage reality, so they go into trans-reality about that. But the whole issue, the growing tendency toward reductionism, this is a modernism theme of reductionism, everything is reducible to the co lowest common denominator. That means nothing except the ultimate foundation, which is, which is atomic structure. That nothing, then that makes ultimate reality nothing but. Well, what does that do for the rest of reality? People of morality. So reductionism is what develops in the modern period. Scientific reduction to reduce it to the lowest common denominator. What? All the component, highly complex components, must be reduced to the lowest element. Well, if so, then that means that most things, human beings among other things, are not what? Not significant. That's all. Well, who said that? Brilliant scientists said that. Does that have anything to do with a Christian view of a person? Everything in the world. So we must be, it's already happened, so it's not heading it off, but reductionism is a, is a most serious flaw of the scientific revolution that developed in the 19th century in modernism is reductionism to the lowest common denominator on the periodic chart. Man is nothing but a handful of dust. If that's all, and a human being, all human being is not of any ultimate value, that's all. Well, that's what the ultimate reductionism means. That's scientific reductionism in modernism. Now, what do you find? You have an outbreak of existential, trying to make sense out of life. Well, where did they lose the grounding for sense in life? They lost it. Well, the biblical norm is not feasible to them because of the developments of science. See, nobody's sure of anything except scientific development. Okay. And then you get to postmodern, they're not certain of that. <laughs> so there's no certainty, there's no authority, there's no uh, any foundation for why go on. I think that's where the people are in the Western world at the present time. And where there's religious revolution in China, Dr. Kirka, but see, that's the fastest growing church in the world, where they have the least second fastest growing church in the world is in Eastern Europe, where they've been through all this and it doesn't work. So they're returning, returning, all oh, that restoration, that returning business. They're returning to the only foundation that gives them any hope. Because no man, you, you've heard this repeatedly, but 
You know, during the Vietnam War, <coughs> Colonel Cushing over the Green Beret, over 20 men, crack shots, uh, they sent them out, and he was captured. I don't know whether you ever heard of uh, Colonel Kushner, but he was captured. Every one of his men, they said, we'll let you live if you'll tell us what the source of your ammunition and your supply sources are. We'll let you. He had 20 men when this started, and every man was killed. Colonel Kushner was the last of 20 men. And he did not believe that they would let him go. So when it got to him in 10 days, Colonel Kushner was dead. Now he didn't die because they hadn't fed him. He died because he had no hope. Because there was no, there has to be, you can't just hope against hope. There has to be some emotional, intellectual justification. Why hope? Because you can't live without it. That's just an example. You've perhaps heard of Colonel Kushner. But uh, if you're not, well, then you've heard it now. And uh, it was about hope. When he lost hope, there was no hope left. So I can take a lot if I have hope. I can't take very much if I don't. Okay, what happens to hope? Hope is removed from God, from Jesus Christ, from the Bible, from the so-called diabolical biblical doctrine of hope. That's not where you get hope. Just having a doctrine in the Bible about hope doesn't mean I hope. I have to believe the foundation of the hope. And hope only comes from someone that can control the promise. Isn't that what the Bible said? That's either right or wrong. I mean, it's not, they don't answer the whole problems of 300 years of development by quoting the Bible. I don't believe that, never did, and never will. But we have to understand all of it to find out how did we get to this point? Here's the church. You got mega churches, you got all kinds of uh, so called examples of success. And it very, but most churches do not create disciples. They, they create, I believe, more of attenders. That, but that's, that's still about uh, modernism. Because modernism, science, and education were the messiahs. You do not have compulsory education in, our, in America till after the Second World War. You only had uh, something in the vicinity of 10% of high school graduates that went to the university before the Second World War. Well now, 60, 70 percent people going to college. And there's less education than there ever was. <laughs> so what does that have to do with modernism? The fundamental to the modern mode is a correspondence theory of truth. Those propositions are true that correctly reflect or correspond to the things as they really are. Well, that's the thing that Kant got rid of, the ding on zish is not available. Well, if that's a pillar of modern epistemology, scientific development, things as they really are, and we don't have access to that, well, Kant in ding on zish, that's a thing in itself. He believed that there was a thing in itself, but why did he do that? Because that's the only way to make any sense. That was God and creation, but he didn't have any access to it. Well, see, finite knowledge may be right or wrong, but just having, don't just tell me it's finite knowledge, that doesn't mean it's wrong. That means it might be. Then there has to be some foundation for the discussion. Why do I believe that? Well, if I have no, no criteria, well, I believe, that's fetism. I just believe in it because I believe it. Well, everybody does that. Well, then from the fundamental mode, the correspondence theory, and uh, we're all the way to pragmatism, all the way to Dewey's uh, use of, of Darwin's uh, evolutionary theory in education. So we enter the educational revolution in the, you're on the way to multicultural relativism 
in the university in the curriculum. Is uh, you heard of Marsden? Marsden uh, is Marsden dead, Bob? Still alive. Well, he's and he was the first man, non-Catholic, ever to be a full chaired uh, teacher at Notre Dame, and uh, his cohort. Uh, he got a, a new car. See, <laughs> he retired in the Roman Catholic school. See, and and, and uh, who was the man that, because of, of his influence in this Catholic institution, replaced him? You got Mark Noll. Noll. Mark Noll. At, at Marsden's request. Well, I don't know about you, but I think that's amazing. And two non-Catholics, powerful influences in what? Education. Marsden's work critiquing the academy, I think of all the five or six books that I would put in the canon, are the greatest books critiquing postmodern education that I've ever read. He's brilliant. That, no, he can't help that. that, that he's not, that's not good or bad. He just comes that way. But he believes that the more marvelous, because there are many bright people that don't believe, because they're too smart to believe. That's, we give that up for man. So in this whole development of modernism, science develops, education develops, God is out. We need medicine, we need technology. What's happening in, in our culture? You're gonna be all right, you. What's happening in our culture? You know, our, our, National our, healthcare. Among other fiascos, yes. Like you don't want people taken care of. We can't afford it. Well, do it anyway, okay. But uh, besides that, technology. I suppose as I walk around it, at this school, every student that I see has at least two cell phones, one for each hand. Now most students don't know that much information to put information on it, so I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, what? Technology, just four or five things, you know that. Not just TV, what? Cell phones, laptops, computers. Ten or fifteen, twenty things. Now everybody, that's messianic. The only way out of the impact is to be sharp on all these categories. You can't go on, you certainly can't be saved. You certainly can't be very bright. That may be true, but that becomes salvic. That's what the problem is. A thing doesn't do anything. It's like passing gun laws. I never did believe that a gun killed anybody. A person uses a gun to kill everybody. You can pass all the gun laws you want. That won't keep some people from killing people. So they think law is going to control things. No, you've got to control the person that has it. Then you can talk. Does that make sense to you in our culture? What are some things going on in our culture, postmodern culture? We'll take a word on that and then Chris has to rest so he can drive 800 miles or 700 miles. <laughs> no, he's going back to Rockford tomorrow. Oh, Rockford, the Rockford department store. Mm -hmm. So he's not, going, he's not going to do all that. But anyway, what are some of the developments in, in our culture at this present? Now, think of these. Right here. 